Bismillah rahim Welcome, my dear uh, students of Senior 1, to a new biology session. Today, we'll continue discussion in Chapter 3 in classification. Unit 4 classification. We are talking about Kingdom Animalia. Kingdom Animalia. We have finished studying the four kingdoms before Kingdom Animalia in modern classification. We have studied Kingdom Monera, Kingdom Protesta, and Kingdom Fungi, and Kingdom Plant. Finally, we come to the last kingdom uh, in the modern classification made by Robert Batiker, talking about Kingdom Animalia. Uh, we can see here a lot of animals everywhere around us. And we know that animals are the more developed living organisms living on the earth. Animals are more developed and their body is more complicated for the other living organisms, more complicated than the plants, more than the algae, more than the fungi, bacteria, and so on. So the animals are the more developed living organisms on the planet Earth. Uh, when we are talking about animals, we are talking about non file nine phyla. Nine phyla. We have in the kingdom animalia nine phyla. We will study nine phyla. Classified depending on the degree of the body complexity. The degree of the body complexity. How the body is more complex, how, how many systems and how many uh, tissues and how many ways of living, ways of feeding, and so on. Some phyla without vertebral colon. So we call them invertebrates. They are, of course, less developed than the other phylums which have vertebral column which are called vertebrates. So the vertebrates are more developed than the invertebrates. Phylum number one in Kingdom Animalia, phylum Porifera. Porifera, al muthaqqabat like sponge. Example of Porifera, we have sponge as an example of Porifera. Sponge, is fixed on the ground in the bottom of seas and oceans and it is an animal not a plant it's an animal because its body is more complex than plant and it can make photosynthesis process but it is not moving it is immobile not moving fixed only on the bottom of the sea or the ocean Although they are immobile, but they are animals. They are not plants classified as animals. Although they are immobile, they don't move, but they are animals because they are multicellular and heterotrophic. They, they, they don't contain green plastids and they cannot make photosynthesis process. And they have no cell wall. The plants only have cell wall. And they have a few specialized tissues and cells. A few specialized tissues and cells. This is a sponge, the real sponge animal found in the bottom of the sea and the ocean. This is the picture or the photo for the sponge. Second phylum, we have phylum nidaria. Phylum nidaria. Phylum nidaria. Shu'abit al-lasi'at. Nidaria yani al-lasi'at. They have some, something to sting. They have some tentacles 
to sting the other living organisms. They are aquatic animals. Most of them marine, live in seas and oceans. Live individually or in colonies. Live individually, single, or in colonies, in Mustamarat. They have no head. Their body is not complex like uh, the more higher animals. But they have a mouse surrounded by appendage, app appendage that extensions called tentacles. These tentacles help in extending, uh, in extending the other living organisms. For example, here we have the hydra. We have the hydra, as you see, example, the hydra is an example of Nideri. Also, Aurelia and sea animal. Hydra has tentacles. These tentacles help in uh, stinging the other living organisms and catching them to feed. This is a part of the tentacle which can catch other living organisms and sting it like promethium. There, there is a hydra here is eating a promethium. It has a flagella or a filament in the, the tentacle that can sting the promethium and eat it. Also, their body is arranged into two tissue layers. The body is arranged into two tissue layers. The external one contain needocytes or stinging cells. Stinging cells. Needocytes. Sting, stinging cells. In the outer surface of the body. Examples we have. Of course, is a, a tentacles help in defense and help in a capture the uh, food, capture their brain. And they, they use it in uh, de defense and capturing their prey. And there are plenty of these cells on the tentacles. On the tentacles, they have sting stinging cells. Example is Hydra, which we have studied before in grade nine. The Hydra reproduced by body. If you remember, it reproduced by uh, uh, asexual reproduction by body. Also, Aurelia, Aurelia, Hadil al Bahr, and sea animal or Shakaik al Nu'man. Sea animal, Shakaik al Nu'man. This is all fixed. The sea animal is fixed on the, uh, on the ground, on the bottom of the sea and the ocean. And they have tentacles, as you see, and the Aurelia. Or is very famous by its stinging the people. When you are swimming in the sea, maybe some Aurelia sting you in your leg, making a sting and making a very, uh, uh, very, uh, very, uh, very uh, a big injury, make like, uh, like electricity injury, like electric injury. Thing, a very strong sting in the legs of the swimmers in the seas. This is the Aurelia, which is from Nideria. Phylum Nideria. Al-Lasi'at. Shu'bit Al-Lasi'at. Phylum Nideria. Phylum number three. We come to phylum number three in Kingdom Animalia, which is Phylum Latil Minsks. Phylum Latil Minsks. Or flat worms. Latil menses are worms which are flat. And their body is flat and they have a head. They have something like a head. They have front and the back, front body and back of the body. This is, for example, planaria, it has a front, head, and the back here. And this is bilharzia. The front is here and the back is here. 
and this is the table, the head is here, and the tail or the back is here. So it has head and the tail. It has, the body has a beginning and end. And its body is flat with two layers. Uh, examples, planaria worm, bilharzi worm, tape worm. All these worms uh, are flat worm or from platyhill menses. Some of them live free, like planaria, and the others live uh, parasites, like bilharzi worm and tape worm. They are parasitic. They, join, they enter the body of the living organism and feed on their blood or feed on, on their food. Like bilharzi worm feed on the blood and tape worm feed on the digested food in the digestive system. And its legs become more than many meters. Its tape worm is very long worm. And do the shariti. And their body is flattened and have a head. From characteristics of flat worms, their body is flattened, have a head. And their body composed of three layers, tri -loplistic, tri -loplistic. They have three layers in their body. And bilaterally symmetrical. Bilateral symmetrical that you can divide it into two equal half. Bilateral, bilateral, uh, bilaterally symmetrical that you can divide it into two halves and the two halves are similar to each other. And the majority are living free, but some of them are parasitic. Majority are hermaphrodites. The meaning of hermaphrodites one worm only is a male and female in the same time. They are bisexual. They have the male reproductive system and the female reproductive system in one organism only, in one worm only. Examples of flat worm, planaria worm, bilharzi worm, and the tape worm. Planaria worm, chili free, bilharzi worm, which causes bilharziasis disease, and the tape worm which is a parasitic worm of the digestive system and live inside the body of the humans and cause anemia. Of course, it feeds on the digested food and cause anemia to the host. The fourth phylum, we have phylum nematoda or round worm. Nematoda or round worm. And the then al Example here we have a scarce war. A scarce war. A scarce war, as you see, its body is cylindrical. Its body is cylindrical. And the end of the body is a, a has a small radius. But the middle of the body has big radius. Its body is indented. Its body is indented. Their body is cylindrical. Their body is cylindrical, so they call the, the round wall. And they have two ends. And their body is unsegmented. Their body is not divided. Not divided like this. There is no segments. There is no segments like this. Their body is not segmented. Their body is cylindrical and not segmented. Their size ranging from microscopic to what they may reach one meter and more. And their bodies consist of three layers and they are also bilaterally symmetrical. You can divide them into two equal halves. They have alimentary canal, they have digestive canal or alimentary canal with two openings, one for the mouse and one for the anus. We have the mouse opening here and the anus opening here, for example. And so they have, the digestive system has digestive canal with two ends. 
The sex are separated. They are unisexual. They are different from lateral menses. Because lateral menses are bisexual. Hermaphrodite or bisexual. But here in Nematoda, they are uh, unisexual. Yani the male is different from the female. There is a male individual and there is a female individual. And they live in a all environment. Some of them a, are free living and others are a, live in mud and the other lives a parasites in the humans and the animals and plants. So roundworms or a nematoda live in different places in different environments. Example here, a scarce worm, which is uh, parasitic on the human and because anemia, because it feeds on the digested food. And laria worm, which also is a parasit parasitic worm, and because the uh, laria worm, because a disease called elephantiasis disease. Elephantiasis disease, because the laria worm live inside the blood vessels, for the example, in the leg, uh, blood vessels, so it causes the uh, swelling of the leg. The leg becomes very big, like the elephant leg. So this disease is called elephantiasis disease due to the infection by a worm called flaria worm. And the flaria worm is transmitted by uh, some mosquitoes, biting of insects, especially mosquitoes. And because heavy infection causes heavy infection, the worm may become so numerous, big number, and obstruct the flow of the fluids like blood and lymph vessels, causing the swelling of the infected body parts, as shown in the picture, uh, in the figure here, the leg is very swell. Swelling of the leg here due to the infection of flaria worm, which is from round worm or nematoda. So examples of Roundworms or nematoda, we have a scaris worm and clistoma and clistoma worm and laria worm. We go to phylum number five, phylum anelida, phylum anelida or ring segmented worm. At the end, al halakei. Anilida and the dead al halakiya. Listen, what kida? Then the gist me abara al halakka. The body is divided into a into many circles, like this, like this. The body is a has many segments, many circles. The body is long and has divided into many segments. But the nematoda are not segmented. Nematoda are not segmented. But here, anilida are segmented. The worm is segmented. The body is segmented into many segments or many sections or many circles. As you see, this is a shape or uh, the shape of the worm from a from anilida or ring worms, like the earth worms, like. The earthworm, you know, the earthworm, of course, its body is segmented like this. You know, the earthworm is long like this, and its body is a segmented. Its body is segmented like this, like this, but the body is segmented. It has many segments or many rings. Its body is divided into many parts, segments, many rings like this, like this. And so on. This is the earth worm. It is different from the anilida, uh, different from nematoda, because nematoda, the body is not segmented. The body is not a segmented. This is example of the earth worm. The earth worm. The shape of the earth worm. The body is segmented. And 
uh, the anilida or the ringworms live in burrows in the soil and they help in erosion the soil and to cause the fertility of the soil. Cause help in fertility of the soil. The, the body is segmented. The body of the earthworm, as you see here, is segmented. And uh, characterized by the following. The majority of them are free living in the sea or in fresh water or moist soil or muddy soil. Few of them are external parasites like the leech. Like the medical leech, which is a parasite on the fish, sucks the blood of the fish. The medical leech sucks the blood of the fish. It is from an elida. The body is divided into rings or segments. Many of them have sheet or spine like buried in the skin. They have some spines buried in the skin. Under the skin, they have some spines. Shawkat taht al gil. Sheet help in uh, supporting the body. Some of them are unisexual, and a few of them are hermaphrodites. A few of them are hermaphrodites, but majority are unisexual. The sex, the sex is separated. So they are unisexual. The male is different from the female, but the hermaphrodite means the male and the female organs on the same individual. So it's called hermaphrodite or bisexual. But here we have unisexual war. Most of them are unisexual war. This is the example of the parasite leech. The medical leech, which is from an elidi called leech. And it is parasite on the fish. It sucks the blood of the fish. Okay. The medical leech is used in some medical purposes. They use it to suck the blood of some uh, patients. They you are using it in some medical purposes. In the medicine. A phylum after that, we have phylum arthropoda. Phylum arthropoda. Mifsaliyat al argul Shu'bat Mifsaliyat al argul al argul Arthropoda. And this is the biggest, the majority of living organism, the biggest section of living organism on the ground from Arthropoda. Maybe more than 50% of living organism living on the ground from Arthropoda. Mifsaliyat al argul to mastil al goz al akbar min al kainat al aisha al al argul. Arthropoda, phylum Arthropoda, characterized by the following. The body is bilaterally symmetrical. Al gist, ganibi tamasul. Bilaterally symmetrical, yani ganibi at tamasul. You can divide it into two equal halves, like this. The left half and the right half are similar. So they are. Bilaterally symmetrical. Like the, cra the crab, you can divide it into two equal halves. This is the meaning of bilaterally symmetrical. And the body is divided into number of segments. Carry many pairs of appendages. There is many appendages. Each appendage contains many jointed pieces of sam guess we cut some some segments and appendages and contain jointed legs فيها ارجل مفصليه كل جزء او كل section has joint legs a group of joint legs the segmented body is divided into many regions covered by exoskeleton the body is covered with exoskeleton. Al-haykal, haykal kharigi. The scale or, or the skeleton from outside of the body 
and the body from inside is so. So they have exoskeleton. Al haykal haykal kharigi. As you see in crab, the body is from outside is very hard, but from inside is very soft. And also the brown or the shrimp, the shrimp also its body has exoskeleton. From a crustacea, crab and brown from crustacea. The class classes of classes of uh, phylum Arthropoda are many classes. We have class crustacea, class arachnida, class insecta. We have here, we can study three classes of phylum Arthropoda. Class crustacea. Now, ممكن نقول طائفة القشريات. Class crustacea طائفة القشريات. Crustacea live in the seas and oceans. And the body consists of two regions. The phallothorax and the abdomen. The phallothorax يعني إيه؟ جزء بيشمل الهيد والشيست together. The head and chest are together in one part of the body. The head and the chest. This is the cephalosaurus. And the abdomen, it goes is the same as the body. Abdomen. So the body is divided into two regions. The two regions are cephalosaurus, Ra's sub. It goes in the body, it's called cephalosaurus, Ra's sub. And the other part of the body is called abdomen, or the body. If I guess divided, the body is divided into two parts. One of them contains the head and the chest, the phallosaurus, and the other one contains the abdomen. And the very many segments, the body is many, have many segments. After that, the body is covered with chitinous cuticle. The body is covered with a shell made of cuticle, chitinous cuticle. Tishra chitinae. The outer body shell, chitinous cuticle. They have many jointed appendages adapted in different forms to perform various functions. They have many appendages. And their eyes are compound eyes. And they press by the means of gills. They respire by gills, like fish. Example, brown or shrimp and the crabs and lobster. These examples of crustacea, class crustacea, shu'abat al-qishriyat, like brown, al-gambari, crabs, al-kaboria, lobster, also no min al-gambari. Class number two, class Arachnida, class Arachnida, class Arachnida, شعبت العنكبيات, class Arachnida أو شعبت العنكبيات. هي هنلاحظ إن في similarity between Arachnida and insect, but there is many differences also between Arachnida and the insect. يعني many students think that the spider is from insects, but spider is not from insects. And also scorpion is not from insects. Scorpion and the spider are from arachnida. من العنكبيات. أهم فارق, the, main, the most important difference between arachnida and the insects, the number of jointed legs. We have here, how many jointed legs? One pair, two pairs. Three pairs, four pairs. We have in Arachnida four pairs of jointed legs. This is the difference between uh, Arachnida and insects. Insects have three pairs only of jointed legs. Uh, the body of Arachnida consists of two regions, cephalosaurus and abdomen, like crustacea. Cephalosaurus. 
الراس صدر الجزء الامامي سيفالوسوركس and the, the, the back side is abdomen we have cephalosaurus and abdomen the body may is divided into two regions they have four pairs of walking legs four pairs of walking legs and they, they press by tracheoles and the long box tracheoles and the long box normal al ajhiza tanafusiya tusamma الكتب الرئوية Tracules or long box Their eyes are simple Different from Different from crustacean And they are unisexual يعني the sexes are separated Male separated from the female Examples spider and scorpion Spider and scorpion This is class arachnidae Arachnida from phylum Arthropoda. Last class in phylum Arthropoda, class insecta. Class insecta. The effet al hasharat, the majority of living organism from insecta. Majority of living organism living on the earth are from insecta. They have big number. On the planet Earth, the body is divided into head, thorax, and abdomen. We have three parts of the body. The body has three parts, not two parts only, like arachnidae, arachnida, and uh, crustaceans. The body here, head, thorax, and the abdomen. Three parts or three regions. Like here, the bee or the uh, dragonfly or the locust or the housefly, the body has three regions the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. Three regions in the body. Of course, different from crustacea and. Uh, different from crustacea and arachnida. Because uh, crustacea and arachnida have two regions only in the body. They have one pair of antennae. They have one pair of antennae or antennae. They have antennae which help in a feeling. The antenna in front of the body in the head, there is antenna. As you see here, there is antenna. This is the antenna. It is used for smelling or tasting like this for feeling. And they have three pairs. They have three pairs of jointed legs. They have three pairs of jointed legs. Not four pairs like arachnidae. They have the insects have three pairs. One, two, three. They have three pairs of jointed legs. And they have also two pairs of wings for flying. And may be absent, such as in the ants. The wings may be absent in some insects, like ants. And some of them, the two pairs are reduced in one pair only, like the housefly. The housefly has one pair only of, a, of wings. They breathe by tracheoles. Tribetil hawa'e. Respiration by tracheoles. Example, flies, mosquitoes, cockroaches, ants, bees, moth, and locusts. All of these are examples of insect. This is the classes of phylum Arthropoda. We we'll stop here. And uh, finally, the last class is Meriaboda, the last class of phylum. Arthropoda, which is called Meriaboda, or Shobe, or Taifet Adidat al Argul, Meriaboda, they have many pairs of jointed legs. Meriaboda have many pairs of jointed legs, a big number of jointed legs, like Scolopendra. Ummu Arbaur Bein, Scolopendra has many pairs of jointed legs, and the body has many segments. 
The body has a head and a trunk. Head and the trunk. Two parts only. The body is divided into two parts. Head and the other part is a trunk. This is the trunk. And they have many segments. The body is divided into many segments. And they have many walking legs and respire by trachea. Respiration by trachea. By Shab al Example is Scolopendra and Julius. Scolopendra and Julius. Scolopendra Ummu Arba Arbaeen and Julius Ilayam Tusama Ummu Al Frig. This is the Maria Buddha, Aw Adidat Al Arb, Ta'ifit Adidat Al Arb. Uh, next time, inshallah, next session we'll discuss file number seven, Mulaska, and file number eight. Phylum number eight, Echinodermata, and phylum number nine, phylum for data. We'll stop here and we'll continue, inshallah, in the next session. I hope you read this part of the lesson again. I hope you summarize it. And until we meet again, thank you and goodbye. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah.